Now before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. Don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows series with RTG 50 and 62% discount from Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. So don't forget to check the description for details. Hello everyone and welcome back. Here today in this video, we'll be taking a look at a new latest WinLater Ahmad update. This is the modified version of official build running on the latest Ahmad 8.0 version P root build. All right, but before starting the video, if you are new to here, make sure you to subscribe our channel. In this update, they made some changes, like they added box 64 versions of 0.2.7 and 2.9. By default, they mentioned that the 0.2.9 is faster and more stable and they modified some variable settings and other things got fixed. All right, now download the package. Make sure that old version of WinLitter is not installed. Okay, now install the package. All right, now open WinLitter. Allow permission. It starts to install. Now head over to settings. Here the input API is already set to both. As they mentioned, box 64 version 0.2.9 is more stable. So here I'll leave it to default. Also set preset to performance. Now save settings. Now add container. Set screen resolution. Lower is always better. Set turnip configuration, same to default. Also enable sync frame option. Select DXVK version based on the compatibility of game. Here I'll go with the latest async one. Now okay. On wine configuration, same as usual as we did on previous videos. Select GPU. And set GPU video memory to maximum. Now go to environment variables. Remove gallium HUD because we already enabled DXVK HUD that's more than enough. Now to advanced section. Select startup selection to aggressive. Also Windows 10 version. In processor affinity, enable all CPU cores. Now save container. All right, now boot the container. Here I'll turn off the Wi-Fi to avoid interruptions or notifications. And there we go. Now go to start. Oh, this version's all in Chinese. It's a bit difficult to understand. Better to use Google Translator, of course. But no worries, we already set to it better and it's well optimized. All right, guys, now it's time to test a bit intensive title, Shadow of Tomb Raider. So here it shows my phone's GPU as Adreno 660, set to 1280 into 720. On the lowest settings, well, it's a quite demanding, more GPU intensive game. All right. Let's first try it out with Benchmark, and let's see. The GPU usage almost hits 100. Here again, this time I lowered it to 1024 into 768p resolution.
like it was damaged, perhaps intentionally. Why would Trinity sabotage this? They usually just destroy everything. No, I think the damage is older. But who would have tampered with it? Laura! Someone set off a trap at the first sight. We think it was Croft. Wait. What's wrong? I want confirmation. No more guessing. I'll make sure we get visual confirmation. Jonah, they might have noticed me. I'll try the back alley. Get me into the ruins. You'll be far enough out of your shot. No, no, please. Don't make this harder than you. your own fault. Would you get it over with already? Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.